Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is going to be your uh, February general reading, all right? It's general and it's not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. Um, if I resonate with you and you would like a personal reading, you can reach me at the links in the description box below. There are three ways to reach me, three ways to donate, and that's because all personal readings are done by donation. Um, the amount that you choose to donate is entirely up to you. It is your choice. However, you must give something in order to get something. You must donate in order to even schedule, okay? So, if cussing and language offends you, please click off. Um, these readings are not censored. I have love readings. They're under the daily love reading uh, playlist. If you want to go check those out, if you want a more censored, uh, no cussing videos, um, those may be for you. Um, yeah, if reading in a non-traditional way um, offends you or if you can't handle it or if you can't keep up, then please click off. In the first part of this reading, we're just going to let come out what comes out in all areas. The last part of this reading will be reserved for love, all right? So that's the way this is going to happen. These two cards fell out and I just left them out because that's what I was feeling. Um, so there's that. What else? Do I feel like I need to tell you? Maybe that's it. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February. I'm going to get the other card out here, and then we're going to start reading. So, Queen of My World, Masquerade, Seek Seclusion, the Lady of the Mirror. Okay. All right, Leo. So the first card that fell out, actually, they fell out together, but this one fell out first, um, was the Queen of My World and Masquerade, number 24, which is 6, and 15, which is also 6. Sixes, to me, is the number of um, 24, which is 6. 666. Let me explain before you click off of this video for those of you crazies. This one doesn't have a number, so literally your first three cards out with numbers is 666. Um, now, this is the way I view sixes. You can go back in my other videos. The way numbers are viewed is uh, personal. You know what I'm saying? Everybody views them differently. Um, but they do have a general meaning. Six to me... Um, is a number of attraction. It is the number of carbon. It is a man's number. It is a flawed number. Okay, it's the number of man. That's why 666 is the number of man. Okay, <clears throat> you say it's the number of the beast and all that. I don't know. I mean, I have a theory that man could be the beast. In any event, I do not view sixes as bad. However, these first two cards popping out with both sixes is like you are flawed. You are flawed because you are human. All right, so you are the queen of your world or a king, whatever. This is just, it's the feminine energy. We all have both masculine and feminine inside of us. This is not necessarily speaking to a woman. All right, you're the queen of your world. So why do you feel like you have to masquerade around as something that you're not? Why do you feel like you have to accept people masquerading around you? You're the queen of your world. You don't have to accept that shit. If you feel like people are being fake, bounce. And you should never have to be fake. You are the creator of your reality. Seek seclusion. Seek seclusion. Maybe it's time for you to pull back from some of the people that you've been around. You're the queen of your world. You are the creator. So if you need time away to sort of figure things out, if you need time away to figure out who you are, reinvent yourself, re-identify with yourself, love yourself again, you may need to seek seclusion to do that. You may need time away from everyone. What used to work may not work anymore, and you may need to go away to figure that out. Lady of the Mirror, reflection, non-judgment. I'm telling you that you are being, and possibly other people around you are being very hard on you, which is good and bad. You are human and you will make mistakes. 
and that's okay. But are you making the same mistakes? That's not okay. Reflect. Look yourself in the mirror. One of the hardest things a person will ever have to do is look themselves in the mirror. Right their wrongs. Say, you know what? I fucked up. That's on me. Now how do I fix it? Judgment. Atoning for your sins. But also allowing people to walk their path, including you. Including you. Are you truly reflecting on what's going on deep down, Leo? Or are you trying to shove it all, sort of repress it all and just put on a mask and go out? Masquerading as someone else or something else. Never truly identifying or looking at the problems. I don't know. You tell me. But I think it's time for change. I think for the month of February, it looks like some of you are going to sort of be forced to start reflecting on your actions and your world. Your actions have created your world. Stop masking ar masquerading around like that's not the way that it is. Seek seclusion. It's okay to take some time for yourself, especially if, you've, if you're the one that's been masquerading. Because remember, in these readings, the energies are interchangeable. So it could be you. It could be someone that you're dealing with. All right? Vice versa if you're a cross watcher. But if you're the one that's been masquerading, you need seclusion even more. Because you need to get to know yourself again. And... It's going to be easier to face yourself when you're by yourself. It's very hard to sort of admit things, um, especially if you have been masquerading. It's harder to admit things or see things or, you know, do things like that in, in groups when everybody's around. You know what I mean? Maybe it's easier to just go out somewhere by yourself, sort of, you know, hermit mode for a while or go out in nature or fucking, I don't, I don't know, whatever you do. Whatever you do, um, sort of pull back from technology, social media, friends, groups of friends that no longer serve you. Maybe your friends are the ones wearing the mask. Maybe you've known that all the time, but you allowed it to happen because ultimately you are the creator of your reality and your world. All right. So we're all flawed. We're all flawed. Don't be so hard on yourself, but also don't just say, Oh, well, I'm human. I can fuck up whatever I want. I mean, to a to a degree, you can. But, I mean, come on. Come on. Like, is that who you really want to be? I don't think so. Because if it was, these cards wouldn't be coming out like this. Again, this is general. So, it's only going to resonate with some of you. But that's okay. Leo, for the month of February, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I feel like February is going to force you or has already, because remember the energy is fluid as well. So a little bit before, a little bit after. There may be some things that have gone down already that is forcing you to take a long, hard look at yourself. Some of you may be going before judgment, literally, litigation, court. The sun. In reverse the Sun in reverse so you have you're not exactly um, happy with the world you've created around yourself Leo the Sun is a little bit of depression I love this card I fucking love this card I love this dick I love all my dicks but it's in reverse so you're you're obviously not happy and there's also some things because the Sun illuminates right the sun brings things to light. It brings information and wisdom and all of these things, and it brings it to the surface, to the light. Well, it's in reverse because there's a lot that's been pushed down. There's a lot that's been repressed. There's a lot that's been hidden, hence the masquerade card. So all of that shit that you're trying to hide and suppress and masquerade as someone that you're not because someone else wants you to be something else or you want to be something else for someone or you're allowing people to masquerade around you because... Everyone thinks they have to fit. You're only creating your own world of shit and depression. With the four of skulls in reverse. 
The four of skulls has a lot to do with greed and holding on too tight. So now maybe it's in reverse because it's time to let go. Maybe it's time to just let go of all of this shit and understand that none of these people and none of these things and none of these material possessions, this is about earthly matters, it's pinnacles, um, makes you who you are. It doesn't define you. With the three of knives. So yes, this I'm telling you, you are, yes, people have hurt you. I feel that, but you're also hurting yourself. And in order to heal, in order to heal this broken heart, in order to let go, you've got to stop masquerading. You've got to take control of your world because you're the one that's been controlling it all along. Even if you've been allowing other people to control it, you allowed that, which means you are still controlling your world. You've got to take off the mask and get to know yourself again. Face yourself so that you can heal. These are the lessons. The chariot. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer, but ultimately this is how you're going to move forward. This is how you move forward. By looking at yourself. By accepting the judgment from yourself. And if you've committed a crime, because some of you here will be actually dealing with judgment, accepting the punishment. But what did you do to get there? Will you do it again? Have you been, is this a repeated cycle? We've been dealing with cycles a lot. Um, if you follow my channel, cycles have been coming up a lot for everyone. And it's time that we break those cycles and respect other cycles. Find maybe a middle ground. Okay. So this chariot here, it, this, the seclusion, looking into yourself, diving deep, facing yourself, righting your wrongs, saying, I fucked up, owning you, you own you and the world that you've created. And this is how you move forward. All right. With this four of growls here. Okay. There's possibly been some overindulgements and overindulgement, some drug abuse, some alcoholic behavior, some eating addictions, whatever it is. It comes because you're bored. The behavior and the things that you've done have come because you're bored or you don't feel like life is exciting enough or maybe it's too exciting or too much for you to face and so you numb it out. Any of these things are possible and remember these energies are interchangeable. But it is coming underneath that judgment which is non-judgment. Look at yourself without judging yourself. Try to because you're human. That's given the fact that you are not continuing to make the same mistake. If you are continuing, which I do feel here, you've been wearing you've been wearing a mask, and this has been a repeated thing, which is why you're probably bored of it. Time to take the reins. With the lovers. Some of you dealing with a Gemini. The lovers brings balance. The lovers is a magnet. What are you attracting? You say what goes. The energy you put out is what you get back. So if you are a shit person, you've been getting back shit. That's not to say that if you're a loving, great, greatest person in the world, you won't still get back shit. You will. But for the most part, law of attraction. And I view the lover's card as sort of a magnet, a magnetic force, much like gravity. And I also view it as yin, yin and yang. It's interesting that it comes over the sun, which in this particular deck is black and white, yin and yang, contrast, masculine and feminine. Spirit is urging you to take back control of your world, your reality, and become balanced. Lord of Grails. Lord of Grails in reverse. There may be an offer that's made to you or that you have made to someone that you couldn't keep up. Maybe you said it too quickly. You know what I mean? Like maybe you, um, you said you could do something 
And you, you were not able to hold up to that because it's falling underneath that masquerade card and that four of skulls in reverse and the three of knives. Perhaps you let someone down. Maybe you made an offer, a, possibly a love offer, a job offer, a money offer, whatever it is, you couldn't hold up to it or they couldn't, they made it to you and they couldn't hold up to you, hold up to it. It does not look like it was intentional. It's like someone stretched themselves too thin. Like you you thought you could do this or you, you know, but you couldn't. And at the moment that you knew you couldn't, you didn't come clean. You kept it a secret. But it's all being illuminated now. So this is why it failed, whatever it was. If it was an addiction, if it was a job, if it was a relationship, whatever it was, you thought you could take it and you made an offer. You put it out there. Hey, I can do this. Here's the offer. Whatever it was. A marriage, a negotiation for more money at a job, a job period, a friendship, whatever. Coming clean on an addiction, whatever it was. You said, I can do this. And you put the offer on the table. And then you really couldn't do it. And the moment you knew, you knew you couldn't do it, you didn't come clean. You kept it a secret. Some of you may be dealing with the Pisces, but in any event, you kept it a secret and you continue to wear the mask. And now everyone's confused. Now everyone is confused and that's why you, your ass needs to go away. You need to go unplug, unplug from the world with the Lord of Knives in reverse. Stop talking. <laughs> this is to, what I'm getting here is like, shut your fucking mouth. Stop talking. There are people around you that are gossiping. You are listening to gossip. You're telling too much of your business. Shut up. Shut your mouth now. I'm telling you. Leo, in the month of February, shut up. Keep your business your fucking business. You hear me? This right here, don't need to know basis. Need to know basis. All right, now we're going to get into the specific love portion of the reading. Now, this oracle is for both romantic and platonic love. After this, we'll do you and another person in romantic love, okay? Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but now you need to listen with a loving heart. Okay, so run it through the heart filter, which is going to be probably a little bit challenging for you to do given that your heart is so broken, but that's okay. That's one of the reasons you need to take off the mask, you need to look yourself in the mirror, and you need to dive deep on your own. You need to be on your own. And you don't have to alienate, alienate everyone, but you do need to take some time for yourself to redefine and reinvent and get to know yourself and love yourself again because I see a lot of... Um, mistakes that have been made here and it's I'm getting this feeling it's like okay so I just keep fucking up I feel like I just keep fucking up so that's all I'm ever gonna be is a fuck up and it's this real like you're very hard on yourself at the same time it's like this pity party it's just this real like I don't know I just want to say like snap the fuck out of it snap out of it it's okay even if you've continued to do the thing, whatever the thing is, you have every opportunity and chance to stop doing that thing now. Don't be so hard on yourself. And don't be so hard on others because you feel some type of way about yourself. The union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. There's a connection of love that defies explanation. Some of you may have been really through it with someone and no one can understand why you two are still together. 
Or maybe you and a friend have had fallout after fallout after fallout and everyone around cannot understand why you're still friends with this person. It defies explanation, apparently. And that's a number 10, which is completed cycles and new journeys. And a number one, number of manifestation. Okay, so now we'll do you and another. Okay, this card wants to come out. It's the King of Cups in reverse, and I'm just going to put it up here. King of Cups in reverse. All right, so we have a misunderstanding or manipulation of some sort. Ten of Cups in reverse. Someone doesn't feel emotionally fulfilled, either from themselves or from the other person here. But what I, what I do feel strongly that's happening is someone is being so hard on themselves, be it a pity party, um, too many mistakes, whatever is going on here, the level of depression and sadness that's not being dealt with is sort of projecting this on other people when really it's you. It feels very much like no one is going to be able to emotionally fulfill you because you're not emotionally fulfilling yourself. You or someone that you're dealing with. Strength. Leo, you come out in your own reading. In the reverse position. Feeling very weak or at the very least weak-minded. Well, someone would have to be very weak-minded to have to think that they have to go their whole life wearing a mask. Nine of Swords with the Three of Wands. Whatever is going on with this person or possibly both, whatever's going on in this relationship here is very stressful. This person is very stressed out about what the future holds for this relationship. Very stressed out. Sorry for the background noise. Y'all know I have children. Knight of Cups and Eight of Wands. Knight of Cups and Eight of Wands. So, someone, so this person here, maybe this is you, Leo, I don't know. But they feel very weak. And it's possible that they didn't make an offer when they needed to or they didn't take an offer. An offer might have been made that wasn't legit, which we saw in the previous reading. Someone made an offer that they couldn't hold up to. And now everything comes forefront very quickly. The Eight of Wands is a very fast moving energy. So this is much like, this feels like, you know, I get it, you're weak, I get it, you're going through things, but you need to shit or get off the pot here. Someone may also be having trouble communicating an offer. Communicating their love. It's almost like, yes, I love you. I just don't know how to love. I can only love you the only way I know how, which isn't the best way, admittedly. All right? Six of Pentacles in reverse. This person over here feels very unfulfilled. They feel like it's all that, like they're doing all the work. They're not being emotionally fulfilled. This is a very, excuse me, very one-sided energy over here. And they're very stressed about what the future holds in this, in this situation, in this relationship. Um, there's a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunications going on. But overall, this person over here is like, no, I'm going to get it under control. And maybe they truly do have it under control. Let's see what's coming in between these two people. Also, this is the card for Aries. Justice comes in between these two people. Justice. So, maybe divorce. 
maybe actual court legal or illegal things or perhaps just the truth someone not being able to tell the truth because from the very beginning we've we've seen secrets all throughout the reading so it's possible what comes in between these two people is truth there's also the card for libra five of chalices loss emotional loss and pain chipping away at someone's heart here with secrets this is what's coming between these two people and it seems to be taking its toll but through the month of february i mean i i see a lot of opportunity to fix this but it's going to it's going to take some serious admitting to self you know what I mean so I love you Leo that's what I have uh for you if none of this resonated that's okay check out some of the other videos check out your other signs check out the mid months here in a couple of weeks check out the daily loves um you can check out the real shit videos but those messages are very spiritually directed and are not meant for everyone follow me on social media because I post over there um things that I will be selling in the Etsy shop and I'm able to sell them at a cheaper price when I post them on social media once they're listed on the Etsy shop they're a little bit more expensive because everyone has to have their cut um check out the Etsy shop I put new shit in there every week I love y'all very much and I'll see you next time